Welcome back guys to Bruce and Chill and today I'm going to go straight at it. Today we're going to be talking about a very radical awesome beer and that is the Shell Shock TMNT Ninja Turtle can beer thing here that I have here in my hand. It's fucking Ninja Turtles guys. Come on. Stay tuned for that. Okay, before we get started, let me just go ahead and clarify real quick. The actual name that it has on the can is the Shell Shock Imperial Stout with pecans, fudge, caramel, and vanilla. That's not the, the extra part isn't the actual name. It's just Shell Shock, but it is, it, it, does, it does read all of that there on the can. I had to go straight for the kill, guys, because as you can see, the Ninja Turtle on the damn can. For those of you who know me personally know that I am a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles. And the fact that uh, this uh, brewery, which is the Martin House Brewing Company, which are located in Fort Worth, Texas. So not only is it a good beer, it is, the design is awesome because it's Ninja Turtles. Like, seriously, like, come on. And it is a Texas made uh, stout at that so we got the trifecta you got it's from Texas which is where I am from Ninja Turtles and of course it's one of the good types of beer it's one of my go-to's actually and what do you say we get right down to this lean green yummy sounding machine and open it up and get some of those dirty details that we do here in the booze and show and then we get right on to the smelling so uh, let's get right under that shall we So here we have the gnarly, dark looking, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side, right there in the light, so you can actually see it. Or I can just go ahead and do an, an up close, and you can see it right there. It's nice and dark, stealthy black, like a ninja black. Ah, see what I did there? But yes guys, here we have the Shell Shock. Uh, again, it is a stout, stout as some of you or most of you may know by now that they are uh, it's a dark beer typically uh, carrying heavy notes of uh, chocolate coffee possibly toffee sometimes smoky and whatnot so uh, that's what I'm expecting to get off of this here stout quite possibly an epiphany and that will uh, leave off into somewhere in some ancient Japanese or something in the of that line to uh, I don't know learn learn the ways of the ninja just like the Ninja Turtle did. I don't know what to expect here, or do I? But seriously, guys, let's jump into the very first thing that we do in the channel here, and that is y'all know this by now. Mm, the smell. Cheers, guys. This thing smells like chocolate cake. It smells like goddamn chocolate cake. It smells like chocolatey, vanilla, marshmallowy. It's very, very creamy, very nice and smooth and light. This here uh, stout is uh, definitely a uh, dessert. Typically, whenever I do smell any of those kind of notes, I always put it into that category of mine where it's like it's dessert. Like this is dessert. Like this is like you don't touch none of this until you are done with your goddamn broccoli. One of those situations. A lot more uh, sweeter smelling than what I'm typically used to. I'm a Guinness guy, and so when I do uh, get a stout, I know what it's gonna be 
It has a little bit of sweetness to it, but I know there's going to be a little bit of that bitter. This doesn't smell like it's gonna have any bitterness at all whatsoever. But enough of the talking here, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, have the first sip here. And, and you know what we call this, the tasting. Cheers to Ninja Turtles, uh, which by the way, there's a new Ninja Turtle show. Uh, leave it in the comments if you want me to talk about it here in, in the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into that taste, shall we? Cheers. To put it how the Ninja Turtles say it, Cow a motherfucking bundle, bitch! You get everything, absolutely everything that you smell off of the, the, the smell, and then some. You get caramel, you get chocolate, you get a small hints of smokiness. But good damn, this thing is sweet, bros. Much more sweeter. Sweeter than Michelangelo's dance moves. Hmm. And speaking of Michelangelo, y'all need to go check out the last Ronin comic book, which was kind of sort of based off of this here can here. Some of my friends might disagree, but I think it is because, I mean, I'm familiar with the storyline. If y'all are not familiar, uh, you all need to go check that one out. But yes, this stout carries a heavy ABV of 10%. 10% guys, so uh, this, I believe it came in a four pack. Uh, which reminds me, I need to give a shout out to my good friend and neighbor, Mike, for passing on this here uh, shell shock. Uh, so this video is not was not possible if not for my buddy Mike. So thank you, Mike. But yes, this fucking thing is just so delicious. Like I mentioned, it's dessert. It is dessert. Like those situations where you your kids want to jump right into the desserts without having to eat or touch the goddamn food. Like, no! You're going to finish your chicken sandwich and your vegetables. I know you don't touch them, but you're going to try and then you can have your dessert. This is, yeah, this is, this is one of them. You also got to give it up to the can design, dude. I mean, and I mean, look at this thing. You got uh, what looks like Shredder's hand or uh, could be uh, someone else's hand. I don't want to say who because I might spoil some things. We got what looks like Raphael. Raphael being the one with the red bandana. Cause, and you know it's him because he's got the size. Or it could not be Raphael. Again, leading to that other... Uh, comic book story that I was talking about but once again y'all gotta go check that out for yourselves but yeah I do really 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 appreciate this can design it's awesome huge Ninja Turtle fan which reminds me leave it in the comments guys if you are TMNT fans put it right down there who's your favorite Ninja Turtle and if you are familiar with the last Ronin leave it in the comments and what do y'all think of it and might as well put if you have tried this here beer, put it in the comments or if you're interested in trying it. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and finish this video off with what we do here in the channel after the smelling and the tasting. And that, my friends, is what's up here. And that is my final thoughts. So this stout here is uh, pretty shockingly good. It really does slice your taste buds in a, in a, in a good way. I mean, in a good way. Really does bring out the party dude in you. Uh, I can probably keep going. But yes, the, the, the stout itself, it's delicious. It's scrumptious. It's just, uh, it's refreshing. It's creamy, it's chocolatey, fudgy, vanilla -y, caramel -y. Oh, dude, like, I, I, I've mentioned this at least two or three times, but this, this is candy. This is, this is syrupy, thick-ish, uh, alcoholic candy. This is what this here is. So you gotta give it up for Martin Brewing Company from Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you all so much for this awesome, awesome stout. I love you guys, and I'm just glad you just did what you did. I, I love what you do. Keep the craft coming. 
times. Do good for the greater good. And what I like to talk about sometimes here is pairing the drink with a certain type of food. But like I have been saying, this is dessert. So you have this on your on by itself, unless you guys maybe throw in maybe some like I don't know some raspberry something something slightly fruity sweet fruity not like sour citrusy fruity because that's gonna probably throw off the nice uh, creamy caramelly uh, uh, thing that it has going on right here so you might want to keep it nice sweet and smooth again but as far as like food food I don't think maybe uh, maybe like a some brownies to go to go with it or some cookies i mean or some fucking some what are those what are those panzas and panadas is that what they're called i can't remember the name that the bread with the, the colorful stuff on top i'll leave a picture somewhere on the side so you, I, I forget the names and it's the way it looks guys again it's a stout and stouts are always as dark as the foot clan's ass haha <laughs> i threw in another one there but really, there's not really not, nothing negative to say about this thing at all. From the can to the style to the drinking to the smelling of it, it is ov overall just plain fucking awesome. Would I recommend this to absolutely anybody? Fucking A I will! And as far as pricing goes guys, again, this was gifted to me by my good friend and neighbor Mike. But I did look up how much a single can, it's a 16 ounce can by the way, a 16 ounce single can of this 16 ounce shell shock comes in at around 7 to 8 bucks. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they do come in a pack of four. But I could not for the life of me find that pack or the price. So if you all are, know or are familiar, please go ahead and let me know in the comments how many it actually comes with and how much they uh, go for the pack I mean but I think that about does it for this uh, radical uh, review of the shell shock ninja turtle stout thank you all for stopping by and checking out the booze and chill channel if you are new to this channel my name is Raymond and I review all types of alcoholic beverages from beers all kinds of styles of beers from liquors to cocktails movies and foods and if you are interested in those awesome and delicious things go ahead and hit that like button and possibly think about subscribing if you have not and share the shit out of this because it's ninja turtles and beer so i will see you guys in the next video and remember forgiveness is divine but never pay full price for late pizza haha <laughs> and of course if you keep watching, I'm gonna keep drinking. Cheers, guys. Also, don't pay full price, man. If it's late, that's the rule, because Mikey said so. I know I said not to mix it with anything. This is my channel. I do what I want here. Cheers, guys.